better. Spring. Pulling a bit of wine. Oh, there's the bloody anchor rope. See, so, yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's all right. Oh. Two good ones. Two, one good one. Top one's a keeper, the bottom one's not. Yeah, bottom one would have kept once upon a time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's not a bad fish. Twenty-six, the bottom one. We were keeping them earlier today. We have kept some that size, yes. That's better fish. What do you got there, Roscoe? I got three, Jamie. Oh, you know they're in numbers when they're like that, don't you? One, two, three. I'll deal with the top one for you. All that's right, simple. that's done. And one on each of the trebles, so. Uh, yeah, no shortage of numbers. I'll just slacken that off for you a bit. I'm going to take to him with some pliers because two. Probably felt like one good fish. Three. It, it did, to tell you the truth. I thought I wasn't going to say anything until it got close. Because we just finished saying how. One, two, three. This appears to be a fairly featureless piece of bank. Yeah. And the only difference between it and a couple of hundred other kilometres of Lake Hume Bank is that there's fish here. <laughs> anyway, we ain't complaining. And there's no guarantee. Like, we saw those little ones busting up and you can... Oh, no, that's where the wave is. So there was little fish busting up right on the edge of the yep. um, bank over there. And there's a bit of weed cover on the bottom, yep. which seems to make for... Uh, the fish holding here and the fish seem to be in probably better condition than they were the ones that we got this morning Ross. Indeed, yeah, no, it's been a good afternoon, good sesh. Okay. Want to catch a fish? Yeah, it's a lot of fish on it, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be that weed again. Good fish too, Ross, I would suggest. Alright, well, don't stuff up. Two. Two. Oh yeah, look at that bottom one. Oh Jesus. Remember <laughs> <laughs> when I said don't stuff up? Don't stuff up, I didn't. You didn't, only just. Only just, but... That's a good fish. He's a nice little chunky red. Isn't he? He's got some width to him. When you get that shoulders on them, that's when they, you know they're in good nick. Must be a bit of a drop off, I reckon, over in that direction. Which direction? Well, I reckon we, we're starting to get shallower, so I reckon it's coming off from there. Mm. It's up to 22 now. Ooh, yes. Ooh, solid. Mm. Mm. Reasonable. Keeper. God, he's inhaled that. Look. That's his dead. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny? We fanned around here quite a bit when we got here and I'm thinking that. Look at that one. Yeah, could be a calf. Thought, no, they're not here. And then all of a sudden, you start getting the buggers. Seemingly in places where we were bloody casting to. Nice. One's coming home. Nice, yep. I reckon this one might be too. you put plan. Got a bit more to go to you now. Might be another one. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Good fish. Oh, oh just. <laughs> That's a nice ready. Roscoe. That's a beauty, isn't it? That's a beautiful ready. Okay. I'd have been cursing about not reaching for the net if I if <laughs> dropped him, wouldn't I? <laughs> what is he, about 33, 34? He'd be at least 33, you would reckon. He's a nice looking fish. Chuck him on the little eye detector. <sighs> I 
about 33. No, 32. I think 32. 32. We'll see if we can get one bigger. Not that time. Not Maybe this time though. Oh, that's a good old struggle. This is a much bigger, oh, not a bigger school, but a school of bigger oh. fish. Get them. Oh, don't lift him. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's about it ready. Hang on, I'll take this off so I know he's in there. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Well done, sir. Thank you. Now we compare those. We have uh, got onto a good school of fish here. Good patch of fish. <coughs> 37. 37. 37. Yeah, fish of the day today. They don't look 37, do they? No. No, he's... He's fairly beefy across his shoulders, eh? Yeah, yeah, no, there's a good amount of meat in there. All right. Time to get a few in on, on the ice. Nine. Very good. That's a pretty good start. So we kept 19 from this morning's session, folks. Mm. And got another nine there, so Jamie's going to use a lot more fuel going back to sail on Saturday because he'll have so much extra weight. Extra baggage. Yeah. The baggage you don't mind taking. No. This one's a, a little fella compared. Oh, there's a couple below them too. Yeah. They can yeah, both get back. The bottom one, yeah, they can get back. The bottom one looks a bit bigger. Through the water column. Yeah. Okay. Don't have to worry about bait yet either, do we? No. So we fished here this morning, Roscoe, for nothing. We did. We came here at about half past seven and did not get a touch, I don't think. But I did say to you this morning that when I'd caught fish here before, it was in the evening. And so that's one thing you you really got to do, I mean, redfin will move into places depending on the time of day, depending on the food that they're chasing. Um, so don't give a spot up. If you know there's been fish there before, give it another shot. And you sometimes get rewarded. Be honest, when you said where will we go, if it was your choice, would you have come here? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Yeah, I probably would have. I would have been quite happy to come here. No, I was quite happy to come here. Yeah. For that fact that, you know, you caught fish here in an evening time. Yep. Even though we fished it this morning, it did no good. It doesn't necessarily mean that... Um, but the quality of the fish we caught this afternoon were better than the ones we got this morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt in the world. Oh, he's a keeper. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah, nice fish. Chunky. No, no it's a red fish. Absolutely engulfed. Yeah. That soft plastic. Yes, it's, a, it's the second one that's done that. And they've both been really good keepers, haven't they? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, no, he wasn't getting off. Not today. Okay. Hang on, before you do this back here. What's that? Might have a mate for him. Oh yeah, nice one fish too. Mine bigger than yours. Oh, yep. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Uh, they're dead this, they're this. basically taking a dead bait. So you just drop it on the floor yep. of the oh, gear, and then that's it. And then you pick it up and then they're on. Yeah, it's the sort of redfin fishing dreams are made of at the moment.
And we're both casting in two different directions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at those car oh, or small reddies. They're reddies. Busting up. That's why. So there will be a good red fin or something. Chasing them up. Chasing yeah. them up. Jamie's hooked onto something half reasonable here. I think so. And we're in 38 foot of water yeah, here. We'll cast back towards where we were catching them though. Might have to get them net, will I? I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done, sir. There we go. Not huge again, but that's the Oh, gosh, good you know, fish. if you can get a bloody esky full that size. Hmm. Yeah, you know, anything over 30 centimetres is good fillets. Good fillets. Very nice indeed. Certainly better than this morning, Ross. Without a doubt. Oh yeah, we got some nice fish this morning, but the quality this afternoon, it's just a different school, Jamie. It is. Different school with different, uh, different specimens in it. Well done. Yeah. I reckon it'll be over, well over 30. 33. 33, yep. Yeah. yeah, they're good sized fish. You could probably sneak nearly 34 out of it. Very good. Humanely dispatched. And as you can see, folks, compared to this morning's conditions, we've got a, uh, a flat pancake going out here at the moment. Beautiful, beautiful conditions for filming, actually. Mm. Getting some really good uh, reflections and stuff. The cattle are amused over there. All's well with the world. All right, what do you got here? Mine's bigger than yours this time, Roscoe. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm the junior burger at the moment. Oh, get you're the Big Mac. That's a good fish. Yeah, very nice indeed. Now, by comparison, mm. mine are bigger in about four or five years' time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good 30, 30, probably 33, 34. Another good solid fish, Roscoe, and... Can you see it way down right in there? Right down the gob. Hmm. Yeah. And that's just basically just leaving the soft plastic on the bottom. Yep. And then just tiniest little twitches. Yeah, yeah, and a bit like the... when we were with Ray that day. Yep, yep. They just uh, in that very deep water. Wanting Yeah. Wanting it basically dead baited. Yep. Well we've had a, a ripper afternoon session today out on Lake Hume. Didn't get out, didn't really start fishing till about five o'clock this afternoon and uh, in an hour and a half we've uh, Oh, I don't know. 20? 20 odd fish. Yep. But really nice fish. I think uh, most of our fish that have gone in today have been at 28, 29 centimetres and up, and a number of fish in the 30s. So I think the best one about 34, no, 37. No, 37. You had a 37 there, didn't you? So uh, you can see by the background behind Jamie there just how flat it is this afternoon. Beautiful. Magnificent conditions. Not really good for the skin. <laughs> no, melanoma city. Yeah, <laughs> it is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So no, just it's been a, a great afternoon. So thanks for watching folks. Thanks for watching Fish Talk video. Please hit the subscribe button, the notific notification bell if you haven't uh, done so already. And if you do, you'll get uh, more great videos in the future. Mm -hmm.